Hi everybody! Um, so, uh, I got a fan going on in the background right now, so hopefully it's not too distracting with the microphone. I just wanted to quickly uh, I, uh, give you kind of an introduction here of these Pivot Interactives things, uh, some things to expect. Um, especially for this particular lab, I, want, uh, I, I do want you to do it a specific way, so that's what I'm going to show here. But yeah, you always get the learning objectives here. It's a really cool, fun intro video you can watch uh, right here. And then they show you um, <clears throat> the interactive is right here. So this is where you can do it. Again, the video plays. Uh, I'll just play it really quickly. You want to make sure it's on default, so mass A and ramp angle 9. And there went the dry puck all the way down there. Uh, and let's see, here's where we're collecting data. This is kind of just like uh, uh, the Google Sheets that you guys had. Um, and then here is your graph. So we'll, uh, uh, OK. So there's your graph, and then here's the activity itself. So part one through three is due 11:59 uh, on Tuesday, uh, and so yeah, I uh, just want to talk to you, kind of. Okay, so what I, um, if if you're at all confused about how, how I'm asking you to put this, so if you got this uh, ruler thing here, you can angle it. Whoa, pretty fancy. Uh, and what you want is the 30 meter mark. The 30 meter mark should be this wooden uh, uh, base right here should be connected to the 30 meter mark. Like boom, like they're gonna, uh, um, yeah, just just like that. I think that's that's pretty good. And then let's see, let's get the timer going here. So there's the timer. I clicked all these right here. You even got a, a, a I forget what these are called now. Uh, not a compass. A, a well protractor. Protractor. There we go. Um, okay, so I can hit play and then I want so and then I'm gonna go frame by frame by just hitting the arrow button and so at about right there so so there that is and then I'm gonna reset and then I can start to you know collect my data uh, uh, as as this thing goes and making sure that you're doing every um, every uh, 0 0.05 seconds so it's very very fast that it happens but that's what's really cool about uh, 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 video analysis is you can you can do things like that and by about I should probably have this up a little bit more uh, well yeah get it get as close as you can to that so that at 0 0.6 seconds at 0 0.6 seconds it should be really close to uh, yeah I kind of think I, I screwed up where it's set originally let's let's bring it back uh, da, 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 and let's make it so there let's do there so reset and down to 0 0.6 seconds that's good so yeah that's good so I uh, uh, yeah just to give you that idea it should go from a range from 0 to about 120 centimeters um, now when you start collecting data right every 0 0.05 seconds you're gonna find the time Right, so uh, I'm, I'm not gonna do any because this is for you to do. And then you measure the position. So measure the position, find the time, measure the position. And then I, so you could put time here, units. You always wanna do seconds and variable. Well, T seems like a good variable. So here you're gonna write position and then you make your units and your time. I don't wanna do the whole thing for you. Some other things that you can do if you click here, you can actually insert a column to the right. Whoop. Uh, uh, which you'll need to do uh, for tomorrow's activity, which is on velocity. So don't have to do that right now. But also you're collecting 12 data points. So you want to keep, unfortunately, you got to keep just hitting insert row below. So do it until you got 12 data points. You can plug them in there. And then when you go to graph, let's say, let's say at, you know, here, here's my, here's, here's my quick graph. It's not going to be anything like this. I'm just making up data. So, uh, but then I'm going to do, I, uh, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, can I? Oh, there we go. So configure axis. The what I want there. So on the vertical axis, I'm gonna have position. Done. And then on the horizontal axis, I'm gonna have time. There you go. And there you go. It plotted my data points for me. Your data is not gonna look like this at all. And then you can go to curve fits here, and then choose what best fit uh, uh, your your line does. So. Uh, the position should have units uh, and there you go you got your your graph and everything so yeah that's that's kind of just a quick overview right there of what to do what to expect uh, all right good luck bye